Hey guys, welcome back to Packers Corner. This is Troy. Uh, today is Friday, the 23rd of December. And uh, being that I was only two days before Christmas, I actually got some stuff in the mail today and I thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, some of you guys had mentioned that you enjoy watching uh, mail days from different people. So I thought I'd shoot another one real quick and, uh, and show you guys what I end up getting. Uh, I also am going to talk about a little bit in this video about what are the plastic uh, card holder sleeves that I use or that you are supposed to use when you send in cards to get graded, whether it be BGS or PSA. I'm going to show you a little bit of difference on those two. So anyways, to my mail day. First one I got in the mail is a card I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this card is another Clay Matthews rookies and, rookies and Stars card, which you guys, if you're watching my videos before, know I really enjoy the Rookies and Stars, especially the different versions, the color versions. This one is 2009 Clay Matthews. It is the Ruby Edition. Uh, it's numbered on the back, 116 out of 150. Uh, this is going to look really incredible with the other ones that I'm sending in. In fact, I was glad I got this today. Uh, I'm probably finalizing my submission uh, to send off here this weekend, probably over Christmas and hopefully Monday or Tuesday. I don't know if the post office is going to be open on Monday, but I want to send this out, of course, before the end of the month. And if you haven't paid attention to any of the other videos I got, I have basically tried to collect as many of the different versions of the Clay Matthews rookies as I could. Uh, here's the one that I just got. This one, of course, is the Ruby version. I got the uh, version number to 249. I'm not sure what they would call that version. Uh, I got the one that's the 99, really sharp looking, almost like a little black type card. This one is the 75, it's more of an emerald type card, or um, a sapphire actually. And this one's actually to his jersey number, 52 out of 75. And this is the one that if you watch any other videos, it was in the uh, BGS case uh, holder. I took it out, I want to see how it does as far as going from BGS Beckett grading to PEC, uh, to PSA. So this one's going in. Uh, this one is a nice one, it's number to 25. Uh, it's almost like a platinum color. It's not like the other ones that you normally would see. So, real nice looking card. And then finally, of course, his autograph card number to 100. And so those are the ones I'm going to send it off. So I got that Ember one. Excuse me. I got that Ruby one in the mail, mail today, right before Christmas. I also got a, another Rookies and Stars Jermichael Finley rookie. Uh, this one is numbered to 149. I already have this card, and I plan on sending it in. And I'm considering whether or not I just go ahead and send this one in too, since I only paid like four or five bucks for it, not too much. And this is a good looking card. It, it should get a 10 unless there's some off centering or something I don't notice about, but it looks pretty well centered. But um, I may send that one off too. And finally, the card I got in the mail was, um, this is a uh, 2011 Rookies and Stars Derek Sherrod rookie. This again is the Sapphire uh, version. It's a blue version. It is numbered, actually is it numbered? I thought it was numbered. Yeah, it's numbered on 75. A great looking card. It'll look really good. I ended up picking up uh, the Ruby edition. So and again, guys, I, I just kind of collect Packer rookies. It doesn't always have to be autographed, but I, I just enjoy collecting cards of a certain brand. Some of you guys do to uh, Topps Chrome, I know. Uh, I love the way the Topps Chrome look, but I just ended up getting a few of these at one point, and so I just started collecting as many as I could. They usually don't cost you too much unless uh, there's always some guy that wants an arm and a leg for a card that really isn't as worth as much unless you know you have some heartstring connected to it, and some guys do. So those are the cards I got in the mail today. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you really quick is... Um, you guys kept asking me about where do I find some of these card holders and what you know what kind are they? Where do you get them? Um, and so I thought I'd show you a little bit. Um, first of all, you got some card holders that are just just what they say. Like uh, let's go back to the one I just had here, the Sherrard rookie. Um, and this is the guy that broke his leg uh, during the Packers game against the Chiefs, which is kind of funny. I bought the card, he breaks his leg. I don't hope they don't make that a habit with Clay Matthews. But anyways, if you look at the name of this brand, it's Ultra Pro. And uh, this is one kind that I've bought before and used. The other kind that I've used before is, you can see it right there, Card Saver 1. Now these both do the exact same thing. I don't know if there's any difference in feel. Um, there's not really any difference, either one of them. Uh, you can go with Card Saver 1 uh, or Ultra Pro. Uh, there is another kind, and this kind here is, a, is an Ultra Pro also, but the difference between the two cards is this, and I'll show you the difference. Is I don't know if you can see the difference in the size. I'm putting these right together against each other. And you can see how the one that this is a Clay Matthews rookie, and this one actually is an Aaron Rodgers rookies and stars rookie. But you notice how there's a different size between the two? One of them is actually a lot smaller than the other one. I actually prefer to send in the larger size cards. I don't know if it's super size for tall cards. This would be a normal size card. Uh, I, I just have a feeling that I, I, I like having the little bit of room around it. That way I can actually place the card in without have feeling like I'm going to crinkle a corner or sometimes this makes it it's too snug for me uh, too too many chances for error so anyways if you if you decide which side uh, which size you prefer um, go with that one and definitely ask 
when I measured this one, I think this one, um, I almost want to think it was like four, four inches. I can measure that real quick right there. It was five inches tall, and it was actually about three, almost three and a fourth inches wide. And uh, the smaller version is actually three inches wide and actually about four and a half inches tall. So uh, whichever you prefer, I, get, I think this is personally just a, a personal preference on this one, but I prefer the taller cards. And those are the ones I do. You can use an eBay search on those and find them. Uh, they're not very expensive. In fact, uh, when I go to my local uh, card show, uh, card shop, I buy these for a dime a piece. Um, and I don't think any big deal. You won't get them back when you send them in the BGS or PSA. So anyways, guys, uh, those are the cards I got. I hope you guys have a great Christmas time. And um, I don't know, maybe you'll get something good from a uh, wife or a friend or whatever. Uh, shoot me a message. Let me know how you did. So anyways, God bless. Have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year.